Hey everyone, November is in the book. So sharing our trade results for the month of November. November was tough. It was a tough month. Before I jump into my stuff, uh, Chad, who runs our day trading live stream a few days a week in the mornings, uh, here's his results. So the Mighty 90 strategy, he took 16 trades, 13 were winners, uh, a little over 1,600 in profits on that strategy. Uh, the volume runners, he took 10 trades, uh, five and five, so just 50% win rate, but still profitable. And then continuation runners, seven trades, five of which were winners, uh, biggest profit on that strategy of a little over 2,400. So in total, he took 33 trades, 23 winners, 10 losers, 70% win rate for a little over 4,800 in profits. Uh, as far as my stuff goes, so all of my strategies together uh, booked a little over 8,200 for the month, a far cry from the six-figure month of uh, October, but still profitable. So I'll take it. November was tough. Uh, let's go through the different strategies and break these down to what we did. So we'll start with zero DTE in general, and then we'll break down the different zero DTE strategies. So let me get all these clicked, make sure we're covering all of them. Give it a quick refresh. So a little over 12, 12K, 12,745 on all the zero DTE strategies. Uh, if we break down the different individual ones, so some did really well, some not so well. So AM ratio, AM trades, uh, let's see, let's get these refreshed. So these did really well, 18,565 on the AM ratio trade, 68% win rate on 21 total trades. So those did really well. DKS, uh, DKS did really well as well. Only one small loser of minus 320 uh, out of 11 trades. So 10,347 was the profit on the DKS trade. JSPs, just two trades, uh, plus a little over 2,500 on those. And then old reliable power hour, which is usually our top performer, did not do so hot in November, minus 43,000. So last month, I think it was plus 117,000. This month, minus 43. So gave a chunk back. And you can see the win rate uh, was uh, just over 41%. So pretty tough with low premiums, with low volatility, uh, for power hour. There was a couple days that I actually didn't even trade power hour because the premiums were so low. So, uh, it's a temporary situation. We, they will, they'll get back up at some point. Uh, but I've just been trading with, uh, towards the end of the month, trading with smaller size, half size. Uh, this day I did a one lot one day. I didn't even trade it. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty rough in November for power hour. Uh, the PM trades, so the afternoon trades for zero DTE. Let me get this refreshed, make sure it's correct. These did pretty well. Uh, plus almost 17,000 in profits, and you can see the win rate over 73% on those. And then quiet lunch. These are kind of midday trades. Uh, plus 4,645 on those. So those did really well. And then our buddy, Uncle Rick, zero DTE Rick. Refresh that. So had a, uh, had a couple big losers, uh, but a lot of winners too. 80% win rate. So plus 2,910 on there. So overall could have been a really good zero DTE, but power hour just really, really struggled. So the one that's usually the best ended up being the worst, and that's just going to happen. But still net-net profitable for zero DTE for the month. Uh, another strategy that struggled big time was our time flies. So just had two trades that we closed out. Both of them were very sizable losers, and with, uh, with the massive quick move higher, uh, we just kind of got stuck with some overnight gaps that just kind of smoked us out of those. So minus 20K on those. Uh, on those time flies. And then 
dynamic calendars were red for the month as well. But I really look, but um, here, here recently, calendars have been performing really well. So I'm actually looking forward to December with calendars. In fact, I'll be increasing my position size uh, for calendars in December. But minus 6,400 uh, for calendars in uh, the month of November. You can see early on, uh, took some heat on some calendars, uh, started to get some nice profits here towards the end of the month. Um, and so that I expect that to continue into December. So look for a, look for a good December with our calendar trades. And then let's see, the next strategy is iron ducks. Uh, close out four of those small winners, a couple hundred dollar winners each plus 726 on those four iron duck trades. Uh, option selling strategies did well. Plus 5,348 on our option selling strategies. Had a really nice win on a VXX trade for over 2,700. And the others were all, you know, plus or minus 600. Uh, and then lastly, portfolio margin did really well. So really, if I look at this month, it really just comes down to power hour was atrocious and everything else was okay. You know, calendars were down, but uh, so almost 16,000 in profits on portfolio margin with a 73% win rate. Uh, so nice month on the, uh, on the portfolio margin stuff. Uh, one other strategy, and this is, this is not some, so all of these strategies are, are trades that we share with our community. The one uh, that I did start doing this month that this was really something that I kind of did uh, just on my own outside of the community was some directional futures trading. Uh, I'm in the process of putting together a course on this. Um, and, and so I look forward to sharing that in December or potentially January, depending on how quickly I can get it together. But this, this, this was not included in the total, uh, but I did book another 19,000 on directional futures trading. So that's been Really nice, uh, especially in this low implied volatility environment. So I look forward to sharing more about that in the uh, in the next few weeks to a month or so. So that is it for the update. If you're interested in following along and learning what we're doing here, just go to navigationtrading.com. You can click on pricing and check out the different membership options there. We've got a free membership if you're brand new, just trying to learn options. We've got five core strategy courses included with that or we've got our pro membership that includes everything, or, or we've got some individual memberships as well. So look forward to seeing you on the inside, and we'll give you the update again next month.